and South Australia, we've got a really dangerous situation right now amongst a larger severe thunderstorm warning through parts of the southeast of the state. Here we're talking damaging winds and heavy falls, but individual cells that have picked up this morning across South Australia are now bringing intense rainfall that could lead to life-threatening flash flooding. We've got our man on the ground, Charles Bryce, joining us from Adelaide right now. Charles, what's the very latest you're hearing? Well, Nat, the, the latest warning from the Bureau is that intense rainfall warning, and uh, we are seeing that uh, across the city. Uh, we have seen uh, nearly 49 millimetres of rainfall around the Brown Hill Creek area in one hour. Uh, that was just before 7am this morning. Uh, we are also seeing uh, flash flooding throughout uh, the western parts of Adelaide and around Glenelg. Some houses, uh, their front and backyards have been inundated with water. It appears to be uh, about a foot deep in their backyards. And uh, we're also seeing flash flooding in the eastern parts around uh, Glenunga and also lower Mitcham. Um, the, uh, the SES have been called out to dozens of jobs this morning, uh, mainly for flash flooding, uh, also for severe weather and uh, some fallen trees as well. Uh, we are seeing about 14,000 customers without power. Uh, that is right across the state as well because uh, this storm is not just uh, localised here to Adelaide. Uh, the, there are severe weather warnings throughout Renmark and the Riverland, uh, around the Barossa and the Clare region around uh, north of Adelaide uh, and also around uh, Maitland on the York Peninsula. Uh, Murray Bridge and Victor Harbour have also got weather warnings. Uh, the airport, uh, we have heard that uh, the, due to the lightning strikes, it hasn't been safe for, to, for staff to enter the tarmac, so uh, planes have not been able to take off. There have been a couple that have been able to land, but uh, passengers on board those flights haven't been able to disembark. Uh, that is just because it is unsafe to do so and the air bridges aren't able to move. Uh, the SES are warning people to, uh, to, uh, to not drive or to walk through flash flooding, uh, to stay clear of uh, any stormwater and to stay indoors.